The Tozo HT2 is the best value wireless headphones you can buy. Usually priced at $40 and can even be found cheaper. Let's start with the audio quality. The HE2 shocked me with the audio quality for the price. The vocals were clear, the instruments and the rest of the mix sounded separated, and the overall sound was crisp. The bass had an impact, but I wouldn't say it was super strong. The imaging was decent and the soundstage was okay, but not wide. Overall, if these headphones had no features, I wouldn't even complain. Now this is not the case though. These headphones have ANC and transparency mode. Let's talk about the ANC. It blocked air conditioner sounds, car noises, and other sounds like a PC fan. A problem that I did face was that sudden movements like the car shape shaking from bumps made the ANSI glitch out a little bit. Another factor that impacted the ANSI was the overall passive noise cancellation. These don't block out as much noise passively. Voices and talking sounds were so heard even with these headphones on, making the AMC seem weaker. The transparency mode here is okay. Voices were slightly elevated and other noise were barely noticeably louder. So it works, but not that great. And I wouldn't be able to listen to music and still be able to talk to somebody. Moving on, the controls on the HE2 were decent. All being physical buttons, there is an on and off, volume up and down, and mode toggle. They can do more than those features, which you can see on their website. I had no problems with them, maybe I wish they were a little bit more tactile. The comfort and fit were great. The lightweight made these headphones feel super comfortable and barely felt like anything was on my head. The pads are made of a soft leather that feels super comfortable and cool to use, and it's not super thin. The clamping force was good, giving you a good fit so you can even work out with these. The adjustable headband and combined with the side to side and up and down movement of the cup swiveling made sure you had the best fit. I do wish that the adjustments were a little bit tighter so the adjustments could be easily made and wouldn't move around as much. Moving on, let's discuss build quality. The build overall is good. There wasn't any creaking and the plastic felt pretty solid for the weight. I could see these lasting for a decent amount of time. Let's talk about the battery life and charging. So these are rated for 60 hours and 40 hours if you have ANC on. I haven't personally timed these, but the battery has lasted me days without a single charge. These have amazing battery life for the price. Another great feature that the HD2 provides is that it is great for travel. These have a foldable design, making it compact. Mixing in with a lightweight, these can be thrown inside any bag for the ultimate travel companion. So the microphone wasn't the best. It was audible, but probably not anything better than your phone mic. It's probably the weakest part of these headphones, but at least it's there and not worse than your phone mic. Finally, the app, which let me say this, I personally had no problems, but looking at many Play Store reviews cannot be said for some. I was able to easily connect to the app and able to adjust the settings and EQ for these headphones. I did read some reviews and it looks like people have connection problems, but if you're able to get a good connection to the app, even though the app maybe didn't look the best, it still works. So in conclusion, these in my opinion fit the bill for 99% of people who want headphones. A lot of people look at the XM5s and the AirPod Maxes, me included, and think that they need the very best. But in reality, the Tozo HE2 will probably fit their needs. If I lost my AirPod Maxes today and was forced to use the HE2, I wouldn't even complain. The sound was amazing for the price and the feature set was way above its price point. Overall, these give people an amazing package and could be a great beater headphones because they're so cheap. There were some issues, but I felt like these issues were not deal breakers. In my opinion, these beat any headphones on the market for a performance per dollar. That's pretty much it. Peace.